Hello, my people. I'm just getting my stuff set up where I want it. We're going to do a cardio workout today. So you are welcome to join in or just hear the word and hear some good music, whatever works for you in this moment. Awesome. If you're catching this on replay, awesome. Let me know you watched. So what you need today, this is cardio, but we're doing a lot of strength this month too. Okay. So I've got, make sure I've got this where I'm not going to hit it. Trying to make sure I got my stuff where I'm happy with it. All right. That's good. Um, so all you're going to need is a couple hand weights today. You can totally do all of this without any weights. If you want, I'm going to be using two five pound weights. Okay. So if you want to use weights, grab some weights, uh, again, weights are totally optional. You're still going to do a good job moving your body, even if you're doing it without any resistance, because as long as you're moving, you are what? Improving. All right. Anybody who's been with me for a while, I guarantee I'll just roll their eyes and said improving because they've heard me say it too many times. We even have it on a shirt. So, uh, you also need something to drink. Um, I know this looks like lemonade. It's not, it's electrolyte water. So, uh, make sure you have all of that and we will go ahead and while you guys are getting your stuff, if, if there is anybody who's popping in really quick, I'm going to give you some time to grab some weights and a drink and make some space if you need to. So I'm just going to talk for a second. This is my third live class this week. And let me tell you what that means to me. See, my policy generally is if I don't have anybody in person then that means that the message God's laid on my heart is not for somebody who's here. It's for somebody who's there. So I just believe, trust and believe that God's going to put the right person hitting play at the right time to get the word that they need. I am crazy passionate about everything that I teach, but the message this month is something that's really hitting me deep in my core. So to me, the fact that I've been given three opportunities to get this message out to more people just means there are more people that need to hear it this month. So what are we talking about this month? We're talking about find the root to fix the fruit. We're talking about holistic health and wellness. We're talking about looking at all eight dimensions that are interconnected to make up who we are and the fact that even though spirituality is only one of those eight dimensions, God cares about and speaks life and truth into all eight dimensions. So that's what we're going to be studying out for the next two months and it's going to get deep. It's going to get real. It's going to be awesome. It's going to bless the socks off of all of us. So you should have two hand weights, something to drink, a little bit of space. Uh, I made the mistake yesterday when I did a live of not turning the fan on and I was dripping. I'm going to go turn on my fan, then I'm going to turn my, on my music, and then we are going to move together. Okay. Oh, that is better already. Okay, let's start by just getting moved. Oh, I don't know what I have on me. We're going to start by just getting moving, getting working those different planes of motion and doing some dynamic stretches just to get the body ready for what we're about to do. Walk like I'm winning. Rage like it's finished. Live with no limits.
second to shake it out. I'm going to show you what we're going to do and what our rotation is going to be. We're going to start with the traditional bicep curl. Okay. Wrists are facing out. Elbows are tucked in. Shoulders are tucked into my back pocket. Come up. But when you get to the top, supinate those wrists and come back down. Switch. Up. Switch. Down. Nice and controlled. 20 seconds there, 10 second break, then we're gonna go into some core rotations. Level one is you're gonna keep your weights close to your body, give me a soft bend in your knees, not a full squat, just a nice soft bend. Keep the body upright, I don't wanna see anyone starting to hinge forward, keep it up nice and tight. Twist, 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 twist. Notice my hips stay facing forward the whole time. Okay, I'm getting a good rotation of that spine in my core. When you're ready, if you want to make it a little more challenging, it's the same thing, but draw those weights away from your body. Twist, twist. The farther the weights are from your body, the more of a challenge. 20 seconds there, 10 second break, then we're going to do a clean and press. Feet are a little more than hip width apart. Nice, strong balance. We're going to come down. Up, push. Down, up, push. Clean and press. Okay, 10 second break, then we go right back to those biceps. All right, are you ready? I'm going to get my timer turned on. Timer will ding and let you know when it's time to rotate. Tabata timer, 15 second warning.
are all done with weights. But we're not quite all done with our arms yet. We've got one more song that's really going to get into those arms, toning them up. And then whenever they feel like jello, then we'll give them a break. Sound good? You can do this one with weights if you would like. I'm putting my weights down because I have five pounders. And I know I'm not going to make it with good form through this song with five pound weights. Twos or threes, maybe, but I know I can't with five. So I'm going to go weight free. You do you. Do whatever you can do while maintaining proper form. Because I don't care if you push yourself to the edge. If you fall off the edge, what was the point? Okay? Make sure you're challenging your body, but not in a way that causes injury. I know if I want good form, I'm going weights free on this one. All right, this is an oldie but a goodie. A lot of you have done this one before. They say we crazy, but we don't care. They say we crazy, but we don't care. That's about where my arms are right now. 
All right, shake them out, grab a quick sip. Whew. I'm going to read you a scripture. I said at the beginning that this next couple months is going to be about finding the root so that we can fix the fruit. We are a multi-dimensional whole being. I said there are eight dimensions of holistic wealth. Health. Wealth is one of them. I digress. Eight dimensions of holistic health. And God cares about every single one. The reason for that is because every single one depends on the others to produce good fruit. So sometimes an issue is going to pop up in one part of our life. And if we ask ourselves why enough times, we're going to find that the issue has nothing to do with that and everything to do with something completely different. We have to find the root, deal with it, if we want to fix the fruit of everything else. Matthew 7, 17, and 18 says, So every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. If you want to bear good fruit, if you want your fruit to be abundant and nourishing and life-giving, we have to address the roots because the roots determine the health of the tree and the health of the tree determines what it produces. We cannot slap a band-aid on the branch and ignore what's happening under the surface. And that's what a lot of us have a tendency to do. We have a ten tendency to allow our relationships, our social wellness, to affect our physical health. And you can add as many diet plans and workouts and supplements as you want, but until you address the issue at the root, you will not be able to produce better fruit. That's what this is about. That's why this matters. We have to be familiar with all of the parts of who, what make us who we are so that we can address the real problem, quit throwing band-aids on the surface, and allow that fruit to flourish. We have to get to the root if we're going to fix the fruit because a bad tree will not produce good fruit no matter how much fertilizer you throw on it. Can I get an amen? All right, let's move some more. Gonna move you guys just a little bit. There we go. Oldie! Come here like this and let's party tonight, come on!
our rest, we're going to come to our knees. We're going to shake out those arms by coming up, nice and big, and then back down. Up and down. That's going to shake out those shoulders. And you also are going to get a little bit of movement through the knees and the hips. If you want a little bit of extra glute work, when you're up high, squeeze those glutes. Then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. I say make it move. You have the option of making it dynamic. We'll do another rest. We'll just hold a standard plank. You can plank from your knees or your toes, your hands or your elbows, up against the wall with an incline on a chair, whatever works best for you. Remember, form matters more. Okay, what can you do with good form? Then we're going to finish this thing out. We're going to do another rest. We're going to finish in boat. Remember, we talked about boat quite a bit before in other workouts here. You want to find your sits bones. That's those two bony bones you feel when you sit up like this. You want to lean back till you find your tailbone. Now balance right in between the two. Your core is engaged, keeping you upright. If you feel like you're about to fall, you're doing it right. If you do fall, you're still doing it right, just come back, okay? You can keep the feet planted, you can alternate one foot at a time, or lift them both up and hold whatever works best for you. Then we're gonna stretch out from right down here. Cool? All right. Here we go. I'll tell you when to get ready, or when to get up into your side plank, we just go ahead and be ready to hop up into it. Nobody changes the world Standing in the crowd Nobody's voice is ever heard Until they open their mouth Don't let a loud go quiet Won't let the saints go silent Let's turn it up till the world will be
stretch. Butterfly, pull those heels in. Let the hip flexors fall open. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Good. We're going to take that left foot, straighten it out, reach for that toe. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Walk it up. My God will never fail. Switch. Oh, my God will never fail. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For Walk the it up. Thank you.